Right then, this is a quick walk around video and this is for an absolutely lovely Honda Civic. This is a 2.2 EX diesel. Cars covered just 58,000 miles from new and it's been serviced, I think from recollection, I think it's 12 or 13 times. Um, it's been kept absolutely beautifully. Finished in this lovely grey metallic, full black leather interior. I'll just go around the car for you. Um, it's a really lovely example. Front of the car, lights and lenses there, clear and intact. There's no cracks of indentation there at all. Bonnet generally very good at any stone chips, are minor indeed, given the fact that it's 12 years old. Looks like a four year old car. That's near side, beautifully smooth in the panels, can't see any obvious indentations there. Near side front alloy, really lovely condition. And it's been washed off but not polished and yet it looks like it's been polished. It's got that lovely natural gleam to the paintwork. This a rear alloy, again absolutely superb. And back, bumper corners, entry points, all in beautiful condition. Good reason for that, which I'll show you in a second. Um, side of the car. And it's looking, look, it's like looking in a mirror. The paint almost looks wet, so it's got that gloss to it. Uh, offside rear alloy, really good, just one tiny little uh, bit of, sort of curb mark on there that I can see. Um, and then the panels, beautiful, fine alloy, pretty much unmarked there. It's for a car of its age, uh, it's got to be one of the best you can see anywhere. Let's come to the boot area. The reason I mentioned no marks on the rear bumper is because it looks like the boot has never been used. The, but the video doesn't do it justice. Carpeted area looks like nothing's ever been slid or uh, put on there at all. Let's come to the back of the car now. Loads of room. There's incredibly clever magic seats in the back. The leatherwork as with the boot area has been kept in simply beautiful condition. Most Civics are you know, family cars and relatively heavily used, even though they take it well. But this one looks like it's just like someone's driving it. Let's come to the front and passenger side. Very clean, full set of tailored mats for the car. Passenger seat there again, absolutely super condition. So finally coming in on the front, door card all very nice. Same footwell area there. The driver's seat, the car it's age and mileage, it's incredibly clean. Only sort of where you get as you slide in and out, a bit of compression on the bolster. That's absolutely as it should be. So inside the car now, engine's running as always, so the dash is illuminated here. Dash looks pretty much like new, um, all working perfectly. Sat now, as you can see, working exactly as it should. Pop the counter reverse, rear parking camera likewise. And down the centre, just been kept in absolutely super condition. And that's the view you get as a driver, and I maintain this is the best dashboard you can find anywhere. Engine running, no warning lights on at all. Um, just come up here for you, hope you can see. 58,389 miles. The video does not do justice to this car. Finally, just to show you, owner's manual, pack and lock and wheel nut key, all here and present with the car. Right then, this is a quick road test video. And this is for a Honda Civic 2.2 EX diesel. Yeah, this particular car is registered YB12XME, I think it might be W, but my eyesight is appalling. Um, mileage at the start of the video is 58,383 miles. The reason we do these videos, and especially the, actually this road test section, is just to make sure that if anyone's looking online at any of our cars, they get to see the very car advertised actually in operation. Um, the reason we've always felt it important is because it's because like many people we've been to see cars which have looked absolutely fine in photographs or description but only to get there and find out it's actually got an obvious fault that shows up when you drive the car which can be hugely frustrating um, so coming to the car quite a special car this one as you'll know from the advert extraordinary service history lovely condition just arrived to us it doesn't even need a clean it's that clean um, it, it's a very, very, very special car. Um, going through the car as I always do, twist the key, start the engine, starts instantly and settles to a smooth, even idle. Um, temperature gauge running as a third, which is exactly where it's meant to be. And there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all whilst the engine's in operation. Um, this is one of the best diesels you're ever going to sit behind. Um, 
it's got all the trademark qualities of a Honda um, in the sense that you know they are incredibly tough and reliable with just good regular maintenance and it certainly had that up to this point um, but more than that in some ways it's just how it drives because it drives so undiesel like in so many ways um, where it is like a diesel is of course the economy but also its performance um, the performance is instant it's got a huge spread of power it's not one of these like these small capacity turbo diesels where they shoot off and then die away very quickly this one all the way from just over a thousand rpm but you put your foot down it picks up speed it just keeps going keeps going um, but also just the sound of it or the lack of sound of it it's so smooth so quiet so civilized you know this is from a manufacturer that you know it naturally doesn't like diesels so they tend to produce very very good ones to make them sound as close to petrol as they can and they've done a fantastic job it is a brilliant brilliant unit um, engine then feeds through into the clutch and gearbox clutch on the car absolutely perfect bike points exactly where it's meant to be and then you come into this fantastic six-speed manual gearbox um, again Honda's absolute masters at gearboxes as well um, you know like most modern cars the um, gear lever is actually joined to the gearbox underneath by um, or at the front rather um, by cables which have lots of advantages um, unfortunately the disadvantages are that some manufacturers end up giving you absolutely hopeless gear changes. They can feel vague, lifeless, sloppy, just you won't enjoy them. This feels, even though it isn't, like the gear lever is going straight into a gearbox. It feels mechanical, it feels almost weighty, um, but it's just so satisfying to use. It feels exactly what it is beautifully engineered and a joy to use it really is and it feels exactly as it would have done when it was new there's zero wear in it so now moving on to the steering and chassis which has always been my favorite part of these civics um, first of all steering tracks bullet straight um, there's no vibrations at this speed or any speed actually up to the legal limit um, but it is a lovely setup um, again it's electric power steering which can mean that you end up with horribly vague light lifeless steering it, this isn't at all it's got weight it's pinpoint accurate and it flows beautifully with the car as soon as you get in and drive the car it feels solid you know not heavy but there's a, an essence of, sort of heaviness in the engineering of the car um, but when you go through corners you just pick your line and it just flows with hardly any movement of the steering wheel through the corners um, and never ever feels nervous or unsettled in any way and the chassis is all part of that because the two work together beautifully well um, the chassis gives you this incredibly compliant settled and comfortable ride which deals with you know 90 percent of the road's imperfections beautifully well only kind of pitted um, sort of potholes that kind of thing you can catch it out as it would any car but even then it absorbs them very well um, but what it still allows for is really keen direction changes for the, so for those who enjoy their driving the Civic is a really lovely car to drive it, you, you can dr genuinely derive pleasure from driving the car rather than just driving you from A to B um, worth pointing out there's absolutely no clonks rattles anything from underneath the vehicle at all it feels as tight as a drum and the brakes on the car are fantastic um, bite really well no pulsing no vibrations it's all in very very fine order and then coming inside um, first and foremost it, videos can never get across just how well put together some cars are and these are beautifully made it may well be 12 years old now but there's not a squeak buzz creak anything from the interior of the car um, but it's also a car that you sit in and it's just a lovely place to sit and drive a car um, great driving position really good seats um, but the star of the show has always been in my eyes at least the dashboard um, I rave on about them because it's not just gimmicky it's not just to look different because unfortunately different can also means it's you know trying to change things and things that don't work you know um, this is the opposite of that the whole point of the dash is to make life better for the driver make it safer in lots of ways as well 
uh, but it's just so brilliantly set out. Um, the main centre stack here is actually quite conventional, actually, because that's what works best. You've got one of the easiest sat nav systems you're going to ever use with um, hands free telephone built into it. You've got a dual zone climate control underneath, uh, which has the option to have different temperatures side to side if you so wish. Um, that also, by the way, pumps out absolutely ice cold air, so that's all really good. All of the switch gear, as is always the case with every Honda, if you just press it, you've got this lovely, high quality, damped feel to it. It really is beautifully put together in, in every switch, everything you press or touch. Um, but my favourite part has always been, and it is brilliant, this two tier design directly in front. Not only is it very pleasing on the eye, but it works brilliantly well. So the upper deck is the stuff you're going to look at most regularly and stuff you don't want to take your eyes off the road. Um, so you've got an information pod up on the left hand side, um, with, you, know, you can configure it, but basically sort of radio information, uh, various other stuff. Um, but if you were to change things like um, radio channels or say fan speed, you've got a little display down here for your, um, you know, if you're stationary, press the button, but you get a much bigger display comes up as you do it on the screen. Um, but the gauge that we should all look at most regularly, of course, is your speed. And there it is all by itself, clear as day. I can see pedestrians, cyclists, other cars, um, but keep my eyes on my speed at the whole time. It is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And then you've got this lovely um, pod of uh, conventional dials underneath, sort of rev counter flanked by the temperature and fuel gauges. And then finally this lovely leather bound steering wheel. I mean, it is a fabulous car, this one. Um, you know, the point of video is to pick up on any issues. There is none. I hate saying this because it is such a cliche for the used car trade, but it literally drives like new. I cannot fault it in any way.